the middle shelf. Let's see the lock on there. Looks pretty good. Just want to slide. Aluminum windings, we're good. So a uh, good fan up here and it's a dishwash down the road there. Squash to the road looks like. If I get the dishwasher in but maybe a problem. Looks close, but we'll see. Water's taken off already. Kind of like not worth taking, but. Just so much plastic, I'm going to pass on it. Just because I need to get something better than that. that. Fiberglass. 
I knew it looked like fiberglass, but with a shiny little trim on the edge. It's hard Hang to tell. Here, I'm hoping it fits. It's a little shuffle there, but. Would you not one? Turn it the other way. Thin, a lot matters. Sitting there for a while, I can see all the water was on the outside of the tank. Okay, that's a good one. Frying pan. Chair here. Sally dish here. Oh, yeah, it's got an amplifier on there. And it's got the feed horn, so it's actually double good. A new neighborhood and it's really, really good. There's stuff everywhere. Put this. This is not what caught my eye. I'll show you what caught my eye in a second. Lots of fan covers, but no fans. Gonna get back on a swing of scrap. After that 10,000 pounds, now I took a little break. Just had so much. And like I say, you think it weighs more, but it doesn't, right? So. Okay, what caught my eyes? All the junk on this side. All this junk here. Stereos and power cords. Heavy, heavy components. Oh, well, another really heavy one. Big transformers. Endless amount of crap everywhere. Let's 
myself in. A couple light, light fixtures. Looks like about it. Okay, you can't take everything, just take what, what you can. Okay, sure. Got some metal here. Hey, so weather's getting nicer, huh? Yeah, it's okay. Make a big difference. Keep the weather. We had too much snow, too much long, right? The snow. Battery. Yeah. The propane tank garbage too? Yes. I'll take it too. Perfect. Thanks very much. Oh, this TV monitor too? Hey? This monitor, huh? Yeah. And those bottles I can take. Propane bottles I can take. And more added bonus. Everything's just sitting in the rain. Propane bottles. One's full. They're not worried, they just told me they just fizz. They run over them, they fizz. You get another one? Perfect. Those two have some full too there. Well, that's all right. Okay, I'll probably have to put in the front. Close the valve. Okay, thank you. This one's garbage garbage too, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm in the area next time I'll take it, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, some bottles here, look at that. Last time my wife took her bottles back, she had $14, so... 
see if I find any bottles. Goes to her. Cans are five cents each. Bottles are ten cents each. So they're worth something, right? They're not aluminum. They're actually deposit value, which is nice. I scored the last place. I got a bad year there too. So you know, I didn't expect. I seen some garbage here. I saw the guy standing there. So I said, "Hey, is it okay if I take that?" I said, "No problem." So, like I say, it doesn't hurt to ask. Just to just to assure, make the guy happy. You know, make some people happy when they take their crap, right? In the back of here, there's the garbage stairs, stuff everywhere, I can't believe it. Stuff everywhere. On this side, here's gonna grab my Piece of metal here. Actually, pretty heavy gauge. I'll move ahead. There's some more metal there. Well, just doing a new new area. Haven't hunted here before, so proves to be pretty good. Filled my truck up basically, and I got a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of metal I can take, squeeze in here and there. A chair. Another stand. Here, I can get it. Pretty heavy. Oh, there goes the bottles. Be careful when I open that door. Okay, one second, and also right here exercise thing here. I put the bottles up. So don't fall out. That's, okay. Perfect. Okay, monitor. See it works. Works for me. Two monitors now, look at that. One after the other. Rattle here, this metal here is bugging me. There's so much stuff in these streets, you just don't know. Like, see, it might not have been done here for two or three weeks, you don't know, right? So, once I clean this area, maybe there's nothing here for a long time, right? Just never know, but there is junk everywhere. Okay, stand by. Pot no good, right? Yeah. I just need I just need the inside part. Yeah, scrap metal. You got metal? Okay, I can take, yeah, okay. I heard rattling. 
Okay, I can take this metal here. Okay, I'll take you up. Oh, looks like aluminum. Aluminum is the winner. Wow, lots of aluminum. Stainless steel. Heavy stainless steel. Oh, this made me all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I try to take it. I'll take it. If it fits, I'll take it. Oh. Heavy steel. More, more aluminum here underneath this wood here. Okay, perfect, yeah. Excellent. You like stainless steel? See, people are just happy to give you stuff. Pressure washer. Oh, looks like it. Not too heavy, so probably broke down. The cheap mortars and these things. Hmm. Put it in the front seat. Shovel forged. Looks like I have a full load. I hear more noise. here yeah oh yeah sure perfect thank you uh yeah if it fits i'll take it yeah no metal here Okay. Put this on the side. It's extrusion here. Heavy stuff. Stuff you want. Heavy stuff. Believe it or not, these houses here, they're old, probably 1970s, 80s, $2 million. So people don't nickel and dime, they don't care. I think I saw a couple of grills here too. A couple of metals here, grills. Cast iron. Full load, nice axe pick. It's a nice piece. Look at that. Flea market life. Got five bucks. Okay. This one here. Don't need that one. That one broken too. Yeah. I can take part of it. I can take this the back half. <laughs> take that one here. 
Well, this one's still full. Lots in here. You take it all by aluminum? You scrapper? Yeah, I'm a scrapper, yeah. Oh, you saw a gold mine here, huh? Well, <laughs> I'm cleaning the neighborhood. Look at my van, how full it is. Well, you know what to grab. That's the treasure. Well, no, I grab everything, to be honest. Do you? What you <laughs> hey, man. Did you just give away my aluminum? Yeah, he did. Well, too late now, I guess. That's yeah. good. It's worth about 40 cents a pound. No, price is down. China's not buying no more. No, 40. 40 cents. 40 cents a pound. No, believe me. I bought some the other day. Oh, you know what? My battery went dead, so I couldn't get it all filmed. But uh, this is it here. You have to check. Sometimes these bars, here's a nice breaker. It's gonna have a lot of uh, stuff in it. Breaker section. Um, I'm just gonna throw my glasses on. A lot of times this, this bar here is gonna be brass. I have a couple of clips on the end here. You just snap, snap them off like that. You have, to, you have to knock out this nut. Play it on screw. It's definitely going to be probably brass, I would think. I'm probably maybe copper. Yeah, it's copper. Only this is steel here. This is not steel. No, it's not actually. No, this. Funny, it doesn't stick to the side. It sticks to the top. Okay. Let's get my other. So you got a couple of heavy pieces of copper. You might have a pound of copper or something there. This one I think I have to hammer out. That's out. So if you find these fuse boxes, don't forget to take out these rods. But the rods are also aluminum, so these are copper. Those are inside the box too. See aluminum. Okay. Aluminum's light, copper's heavy. Okay, so I'm running over, I guess. So take those two off. And then I'll do I'll cut the two leads off the back. Came off pretty easy. The plastic there. And I'll cut these two leads tight to light bulb. And I'll have all this mess of wire here. There, I get a little handful of wire. Find a container for it. So your wire builds up pretty quick. So basically that's it. There's, there could be silver contacts there, I'm not going to bother. They're real tiny anyway, it's not worth my time. Silver's only worth like 50 cents a gram. It doesn't really work worth the time to be honest. But you know, I save the stove ones because I got so much of it, right? And they're usually bigger contacts. This one, like I say, you take this off here. I'm going to throw this one in the mortar bucket. Water transformers. They don't really like that stuff actually, but they'll still buy it. They want the copper, of course, but copper is a little tougher to find. I mean, people don't want to sell their copper cheap, anyways. They want top dollar or get a little more. I 
the wire here for the bucket garbage. Okay, so some of the wire I found today. If you look at it, it starts adding up pretty quick. Speaker wire here, 80 cents a pound. That's pretty nice. I kind of take these ugly ones off here. They don't really seem to care, but uh, uh, they're paying better prices now, so keep my pile looking presentable. Got all these extension cords the other day, too. That's probably about 10 pounds of cord. This is pretty heavy. Two cords there, probably 10 pounds. Leave that for now. See, it's been cut, so it's probably garbage, anyways. But okay, let's see all, what else I can show here. It was on the side of the road, it was all smashed apart. I don't think it's charged no more, it's free on its cut. But anyways, this is the way you found it, so I'm gonna scrap this one. Normally I don't scrap these, but just wanted to show you what's inside it. Some just have to scrap it. No choice. Get the right tools. See, so normally I don't strip these because they're usually they're charge or free on, right? But this one's been cut. It's been cut on the other side there, so I have to deal with it now. I'll just recycle it versus scrapping the way it is. Here, this might be it. This might have a copy here for the temperature thing. Well, I'm seeing so many of these on the side of the road, it's really weird. Usually, like they're half stripped out. Not sure what's going on. This one I found at, at night. I saw in the last video. A couple of videos ago. Oh, had a little bit of a little bit of life in there. It's weird. It's like one side's totally cut. Oil, oil coming out. Probably back pressure or something. It's just spurting slowly. Hmm. That is bizarre. 
Hmm. So that one had a little bit of a uh, air in there, but the main line was looked like it was totally cut. So, but these things they hold pressure here and there, I guess. Okay. This tank here will be a uh, stainless steel usually. Oh, I just want to cut. Oh. Let me just unwind this stuff here and I'll show you the inside. Oh, I ended up taking some more pieces off. Here's your uh, reservoir. Well, it's got a hot, cold reservoir. So, so but I think that's why they're breaking apart, is to taking the copper of these things because there's. Some, some I've seen, they have lots of copper. I must have uh, threw about maybe 40 in a shred last year. Never took any of these apart. It's the first one I took apart probably in about a couple of years. But uh, you can see it's a copper winding here. It goes directly around it. guys are doing is take them apart this is about the third or fourth one I've seen totally gutted in the streets that's what you copper you get out of there nice little winding of copper Like get close to a pound of copper maybe, something like that. But uh, you gotta be careful, you're not supposed to cut these apart, right? Supposed to be recycled properly. That's why I don't I don't bother with these and even the way they are. This one happened to me about maybe this wire here. Oh, yeah. it could be tinted copper, possibly. It's number two copper. It's all going to be number two copper, regardless. Oh, your stainless steel reservoir tank. It's got a little liner on the side, but. stuff here but let's just get a little bit off yeah this copper I can see copper coming through this goes to your temperature gauge or your sensor so how cold it is and how hot it is I guess that's the cold one probably
Oops. It's all stainless steel. It's mosquitoes coming out now. And you have another another tank there. Okay, stop by. Here's the other part of the tank. We have another stainless steel tank here. So two clean tanks. But you have to check if it's charged. I would not. I would not risk just breaking it. Okay, so I got two pieces of stainless steel out of there. In there. And then I got the compressor there. A little bit of copper but like I say occasionally you do find the odd one that's been broken open but otherwise I just throw it in a shred normally but you have to check see if it's worth your time I mean there is a fair amount of parts in there but some places uh, it's illegal to break break uh, the Freon right so you have to check That one happened to be basically discharged. Okay, so that's it on that one. The I got today, they're aluminum. So what I do is I just knock off uh, on one end where the bracket goes for the frame. What I have to do is just unscrew that, a couple unscrews, and that's it. Two, three turns. And then this one is just clipped in here. This one you have to uh I wish you press pry it out, but it's probably a better way of that than doing that, but this one's a bit of a pain. There, nothing X can't do. Two three turns. Clean. I think if you uh, get a pair of pliers like this, if you had something and you crimp it in here inwards, you have nothing to crimp it with, but crimp it in and work, should work. Okay, that one's over. Okay, now we have scrap steel. Clean aluminum here. Clean. The frying pan. This one's got a screwdriver on one side, but I think we have to cut it. This one I can put a screwdriver in here. So I'm thinking it still could be stainless. I have to look at it, make sure it's aluminum. A couple screws here. And the plastic should come right off. So let's see. I think it's stainless steel. Put my glasses on.
ones. A bit. Actually, this looks cast. This one's okay. Cast aluminum. The other one was stainless steel. Okay. A little bit of pain, but if the pot stuck out a little bit more, it'd be a little bit easier. But uh, some some go easy, some go hard. That's the way it is. I tried to unloosen this Allen key, but it's stripped, so there's no chance. We can pull this cover off. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's get a screwdriver. Hopefully I can get it off. Okay, it's the hex. Okay, might be this problem here. Mm -hmm. it's one size bigger. Same. I don't have that size. Oh god, it's okay. So I'm just try to rescue the mortar section. Whatever I can. I can't take the shaft off, so we're from behind the mortar. Got two cooling system on this, double cooling. Some cast here, aluminum. Okay, cast them. Power should pop out. May have a copper mortar we can investigate. Can I see that? It's kind of windings. Probably not. Hmm, possible. Get a knife. Scratch it a little bit better. Can't personally tell. Housing here is cast, also aluminum. So we'll take take that off. I've never I've seen so many cops fly by here. It's like LA here. We're driving by steady here in Surrey. Helicopters. Okay, cast aluminum. Cast. And the heavy cast. I would say this is like half a pound. What I would do is get a grinder and cut the shaft here, which I'm going to do. And I can scrap that in half too. Just because I think it's worth doing. And this mortar. Oh yeah, I can see the glow of copper. Okay, now I can see it. So we, we got a nice chunk of copper here. This one I'll strip because it's actually... It's just a big chunky piece. I like it. Okay. It's sort of there. So I paid off there. Let me see what else we can do. Stand by. Taking the satellite part. All I want is this and I want the feed horns. So I'm going to take this off the bracket for now. There's two screws here. So I'll hold it in place. Yeah, the weather's supposed to change. You're saying it's going to be like 20s. High, high teens and early low 20s so it's gonna be our springs coming very heavy piece of cast aluminum so don't underestimate that piece this one I just go like this I just crunch like that and I just want the feed horn right they're sun weathered anyways and they're just they're rotted but you know if you want to get technical they've got two screws here Two screws on the side here, but when I'm when I'm in the road, I just rip them apart. If I need to take them off quick or something.
double feed horn. So this one, let's take it apart like this. Put my glasses on. But to be honest, it's just better just to smash it apart. You hit it like here. Once it's just get two sides open. Just because it's, it's just so, so weathered. It's weathered, you know. Two sides. These ends are brass also, dirty brass. Uh, also, you want to take this little feed horn piece off of plastic. You have to get something that's not that noisy, it drives it crazy. Okay. So these will have a possible gold plated board in there. If not, you still have aluminum housing here and then you have brass fittings on the end. I took a whole bunch apart before, but now I'm just going to stockpile them for now. Okay, and this feed horn stays up there. The okay. double cassette tape, FMEM, all that kind of stuff. Okay, I pulled this off here. I pulled all the screws off I can take off. So whatever screw there is around here I can get, I'm pulling off. Okay, so now I peel it open. Basically, here's a heat sink assembly I'm interested in. That's what something we want to save is save the aluminum. So it runs this way the heat sink assembly on power transistors. And, uh, you can also save the transistors for gold recovery. Some some may have gold. I'm not sure to the extent of it, but you can hear little rumors and different things about it. Right there, clean aluminum. I'll pull this tape off here. Right there. Clean exclusion. So now I'm interested in this transformer here. Really don't care about it too much more. I'll, I'll take the flat packs off. The transformer is what I'm fishing for. Four, four screws. Transformer should be should be good, co good copper in it. I don't think I've seen any any electronics like this with not copper. Maybe because they're just not not as, uh, as common as like washers and dryers and stuff. But Clean up a little bit. Clean the board. Make it a little cleaner looking. It's got a aluminum band, a copper band around it actually. I'll just um, what I gotta do is I gotta score it on one side. band and it goes right around the transformer we'll have to grip it from this side some some come out really easy but this one looks like it's not going to be easy it's molded in there or something normally they come out really like super easy but uh since i'm here Let's put the screwdriver on the side here. Let's round a little bit. Okay, too much bothering. It depends on the time you have, right? You know the time in the world. You get to do what you want, right? So I just figure fast copper. 
But you know, if the thing is heavy, transforms heavy, then you know you got copper. Uh, like I mean, if if everything's heavy, like the the whole unit's heavy, then you know you probably got uh, a good transformer in there. But if it's really light, doesn't have much weight, you know it's probably not worth even taking apart. Like this one here, it's got uh, IC chips here. You gotta be, will have to be stripped. And some flat packs. There's transistors in here also. Some transistors have it. Uh, you know, I'm just watching different videos and watch different channels, and you know, I'm just going by what other people say. But I personally do sometimes don't know. So I haven't personally ventured there myself. This could just go the way it is. So basically, I just wanted to get these two IC chips off here. So this grab a screwdriver, like I showed you in my earlier video. Just get yourself a short handle screwdriver. Don't get a long handle. The short handle get more torque. There it is. Two two IC chips popped off. Even going for the mortar is probably not worth it. A little bit of wire here. It's just, um, as you can see, I mean, um, the weather's getting better, the stuff, people throwing the stuff out now, so Look at the electronics I got today, and what I got yesterday, electronics, right? I mean, there's mortars here, if you want to, easy way is just go, you know, knock it off like that and Then you can unscrew it from the other side But, you know only one little mortar right it's off anyways so no big deal okay so all this is just gonna go into shred I felt some some cabinets here because I got to uh, kind of wait get a better weight Trying to get better weight, so it's garbage. These ones help investigate on transistors and so on. Pioneer double cassette. It's actually not a bad one, but yeah, it's got an okay transformer in it. So we'll pop the transformer off to start with. This one's got a nice, nice size chip here. Let's take the board off. Are here. See what they got cheap here. They, they used a frame for a heat instead of having a what do you call it a heat sink. They used a frame. How I miss this screw here? I missed a couple. Okay. I'm gonna pull the transformer out. Okay, 
another one done. It's also got a metal band around it. This one may, may come out. Just never know with these things, but some do come out. But maybe because the transformer may have been old, I don't know. Well used from heat, heat may have melted it. Okay, so transformer time, and then I have a couple here. Little mortars. Actually, a couple other borders here. A couple of copper coils here. Two copper coils. This one's done. Ready to go. Okay. Okay. This uh, karaoke cassette player it has a TV screen. It's pretty popular for a while. CD player on top. Okay. Basic wood, garbage. It's got a little CRT, a lot of wires, a little transformer. There's a lot of you know interesting stuff in here to tear apart. A little tube here. Let me fucking get this a little bit better. There's a fair amount of waste, wood waste and stuff here. I wouldn't say it's a, it's a good pick, but you know, it gives an idea if you can look into something like this. Okay. Side off. Nothing. Nothing. Like I say there's not a lot of stuff here. It's mostly waste. But you know, it's gotta be recycled, it's gotta be recycled, right? Piece of linen here in the heat sink. It's a heat sink. Plastic. Now we're gonna have a speaker here. Turning. Oh, just spinning. Okay. Whole lot of nothing, huh? Transformer. Okay, at least I have a decent transformer under there. It's falling apart. The wire, we transformer just again. Speaker. So a little CRT here, see that? Mini CRT. Okay, let me just clean up a bit here. I might have enough video here. Step by. Picture tube. Uh, one mortar. Uh, this is the um, 
the copper in the back. Um, I forget what it's called, but anyways, the copper in the back. I mean, it's very small, like I say, it's kind of not worth it, but there's, I got a handful of wire out of there. A little wire, right? So, otherwise, if you don't, you don't pick it up, it's gonna be laying in the street for weeks and weeks. And might as well pull it up, do do someone a favor. And there's a little bit of a copper. It's a foil or something here. It's thick foils, probably not worth the time. So uh, basically, a couple boards. Right. That's it. Not a lot. Okay. You know, mostly it's a uh, eighty percent wood. But anyways, I gotta throw it in the garbage, so no big deal. Put this over here. So I have a washing machine and a hot water tank in my van still. So my pile is starting to get, you know, a little bit bigger. Right, it's starting to get a little bit bigger. So one Hobart tank more, washing machine, and pretty well it. Okay.